Hey guys, this is Post Martin, and uh, I want to show you a little bit about the new upcoming Kemper Drive overdrive pedal. And uh, I made a little bit of an example, a demo for you to listen, and I'll make it as short as possible. So here you see the amp I'm using. It's a Tube Thompson Defcon 7, really rare amp. Uh, it's basically a Plexi on steroids with uh, KT66 tubes. Really beautiful, chimey sound um, if you turn down the gain. And uh, it's serial number one, built in 2007. So that's basically the amp I'm using with a pretty low gain. It's a little bit crunchy. And now I will switch to my screen. And here you can see Rig Manager. And uh, I've also opened just for, yeah, if, if you're interested, you can see the spectrum and you can see the levels and you can also see loudness metering here short-term loudness metering when i'm starting to play stuff uh, there is uh, drums and bass also going on because it's always helpful to hear something in context and what i'm doing basically is i'm uh, running a di track of the guitar recording and i basically reamp it so let's go and see what's happening here in the input. Everything is set to zero. Clean sense, distortion sense, reamp sense. Noise gate is at zero, obviously, because I'm reamping. It's SPDIF input reamp. Yeah. So that's uh, the basis for what we are doing. And have a look at the profile of this uh, Tube Thompson amp. The gain is at 2.0, so as I said, it's pretty low gain. Other than that, nothing special going on. Yeah, that's uh, no compression, no volume change in the amp block, nothing. Everything perfectly fine. And just because of taste, there's a touch of spring reverb in there, but uh, that won't won't disturb you or won't uh, hinder you from hearing what I'm actually talking about. So let's just start playing this uh, track. And I hope you can still hear me talking over this track because it's easier if I just keep it running. And um, before I do, of course, I have to tell you that Kemper Drive, that's the settings of the Kemper Drive. So there is a little bit of drive just to give it a little bit of hair, a little bit of grit before I start boosting. The boost is set to plus 2.2 currently. Okay. And then I switch to loop mono, and obviously here you can't see much other than it's set to zero input volume. That's basically my clon clone. It's a seriatone or cheriatone centura. It's it looks like a clone, and uh, I tend to believe it sounds like a clone. It behaves like a clone. Has the same three knobs, and uh, this pedal is set to gain like nine o'clock so also just a little bit of hair coming from the gain the treble is set to about uh, 11 o'clock and output of the clon pedal is set to what is it like 10 o'clock something like that yeah 10 o'clock i guess that would make it okay so first of all let's hear what's going on without anything. Yeah? Just uh, basically with the amp profile. And then I will start to switch on Kemper Drive and I will switch to the loop mono and back and let's see what's, what's going on. Okay, without further ado, I just hit play now. can already hear guitar has a little bit of crunch yeah not too much there will be a quiet part now coming and uh, there you will hear that it cleans up beautifully but at the same time you can hear that it could could need a little bit of a push okay because it's a little bit in the background so what I want to do and now full volume there's quite a bit of crunch yeah okay and let me just start to the beginning and now we will use the clon okay the clon is in the loop the settings I already told you and let's hit play again uh, there we go
pretty crunchy, but it sounds open. Yeah, there's a lot of bright stuff going on. I don't change anything on the pedal. Cleans up nicely. Very dynamic. At least for me, it's really beautiful. It really goes quite uh, aggressive, when we can speak of aggressive in terms of crunch, of course. But it, it sounds open and really natural, beautiful. All right, so now let's do the same with the Kemper Drive. So I switch to the Kemper Drive here, and let's see what that sounds like. Uh. So far, I would say, pretty close. Also cleans up quite nice, so there's no, no issues. There I have an issue. There, it sounds very different. Let me switch back and forth in this section. Sounds more open. You can see how when I switch on the Kempo Drive, it go already goes a little bit in the background and I cannot increase the volume. So basically, that's the best setting for me, 2.3. But once I up it, it kind of uh, ducks more in the background. It gets a little bit more muffled and it's really, really strange. So let's listen again. Does not exactly do what I want. Let me switch back to the clon. I'm pretty sure you didn't notice that I changed the output gain of the clon, which is also a little bit kind of strange because uh, we don't have to discuss the exact taper of the pot, of the output pot of this clon clone. Um, but there is some more, but I cannot use it because there's some limiting going on or something. I am at full output right now, and there was very, very little difference. You probably couldn't hear it. I turned it from around 10 o'clock, which was the initial setting, all the way up to, what is it, something like 5 o'clock or something, and you couldn't hear it. But the important thing is, it did not start to kind of uh, get muffled or go back into the background. Yeah, it's, it stayed pretty much the same. I'm sure you, you have not noticed that I actually moved the knob and now I will do the same again for the Kempo drive I have switched the uh, I have uh, set the clone back to 10 o'clock output yeah but uh, let's listen to the Kempo drive and I need to up the volume to around 2.1 plus to get in the same ballpark as the clon at 10 o'clock anyway so the important part is what happens with uh, if I start to increase further. And that's basically the issue. There is nothing. Okay, so let's uh, start with this clean part before the loud part comes. Yeah, again, cleans up nicely. But now the issue comes.
So again, I'm at least I hope if you listen with good headphones or good speakers, you should hear it that from volume zero up until plus 2.2 or 2.3 or something like that, roughly, everything works fine. But then, like a touch more, like a touch more push, but still keeping the amp open would be nice. I'm pretty sure to achieve the sound that I can achieve with this clone, clone I would have to go until maybe three, three-ish, something like that. But it doesn't work because it kind of muffles, compresses the sound. It, it starts to get back in the mix like it, it doesn't come forward yeah it's really weird so that's what i wanted to demo to you guys and uh, let me see maybe i managed to to upload the profile as well so you can try on your own obviously this was played with a strut so um, yeah have fun enjoy and let me know what you think about that and over and out